Hey you guys, it's Night Streak, and today I'll be bringing you a couple mods from an author we are already a little bit familiar with if you watched my previous video. GG77 was nice enough to send me some super kick-ass mods to do videos for her, so without further ado, enjoy the video. Nothing. Now, the first mod I'll be showing you guys will be his Incarnate Creatures Armor. Now, it doesn't say armor, but it is. You can make all of these armors for pretty much nothing at the forge, and they all look quite swanky if I do say so myself. Nope. So before further, I already said to do this video, I don't want to say it again, but let's get right into it. I'm wearing the Skeleton Falmer, cha Skeleton Champion Falmer armor right now. Let's just go down the list. Sorry. Here we got the Drogear armor, or if you're like me and you like to pronounce things right when you learn them. Nope. Drogier. So no. this is the Drogier armor. Looks pretty kick ass. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Full view here. Don't mind the corpses. So here we have the Drogier armor. Great. Next up, we have the Drowned Dead Armor, and I, I'm creeped out, honestly. This is weird. I don't want to be this, but if you want to be this, download his mod today. Next, we have the Drowner Armor, which looks pretty much the same. A little bit more green. Now we'll be switching to the Dwarf Centurion Armor. I wish there was a way to put my guy over here or something, because it looks really cool. But, uh... Yeah. Looks a little boxy. And he's wearing high heels. But, still pretty cool, guys. Still pretty cool. Oh, that's the female armor. Of course, high heels. Okay. Now we just have pirate legs. And awesome attacking claws. Well, I'm in. Now we have the Dwarf Commander Armor. I like this one a little bit better. Just because it doesn't have that blocky torso. Oh, and it's got a little nice cape too. Now we'll be going to the Dwarf Doll Armors. Now I'm only going to be showing you a couple of these because it's pretty much the same thing with a little bit different hairstyles. Um, what he went for is pretty much, I guess, a, a female Centurion? Something like that. Here's another hairstyle. Pretty swanky. Pretty swanky. I know a lot of people play female characters. I'm not one of those people, but... Oh, man, it's got even, like, a little predator. Look, these... Oh, man, no, it's like a little gnome. But it, it reminded me of a predator cannon on his, on the shoulder. Whatever, it's awesome. Onyx interrupting my video. And we have, oh yeah, that's all I'm going to show for the Dwarf Doll Armors, just because, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, I think, except, no, same thing, pretty much. Uh, next we have the Dwarf Gynoid Army Armor? No, I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is like a, a metal elf. It's cool. It's cool. And we have... A badass armored metal elf. Yeah. This is the dwarf trooper. Now all the links will be in the description, of course. Ebony Knight. Now this one is pretty awesome, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I'll show you my favorite soon. Here's the Flame Lord armor, which is not to be confused with my favorite. I don't know if I. Never mind. All right. That's that. Here's the Raw Fiend armor. Now, it seemed kind of like something from Half Life. I don't know. Or that one Machinima. I don't know where they got the creature from, but I haven't seen it in-game, but 
I have all the DLCs and stuff. Not my fault. And we have oh, I didn't even look at the name. We have the Knight of the Order or Knight of Order armor. There's a nip in the air. Now the only reason I don't like this my one crops. compared to the that black is. one is because you can actually see like his face. I don't know. Yeah. I mean if if they made him look if they made the face black, it would look really weird, so I see what they did there. And we have a burnt Malu Malaburo armor. It's pretty much just a burnt skin with this awesome Damn. gash on the head. There we go. Looks a little better. And the Mara armor. Now this one looks really, really nice. I like how this one looks. A lot of people don't like bulky armors, but hey. What's armor if it's not bulky? Let's go ahead and wait for those ones. We got the Rot Fiend armor. It's like the other one. I, can't, I already can't remember what it's called. The... Hmm. Greater... Oh, yeah. It's a lesser Rot Fiend. Now we have the Skeleton Champion. It's pretty much just a skeleton. He's got a couple different armors on the skeletons, which is cool. I like that a lot. And then we got the Bone Skeleton. Bone Armored. The Draugr Armor. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, the rift. The Ebony Armor. Being quick with these ones just because, you know, same skin, just different armors. We've all Oh no! Brenton the Orc is naked. Oh, put armor on. Okay, and then we have the Falmer skeleton armor. Oh, that looks really cool. Print screen. You look tired, friend. Okay, now that I have a screenshot of that, we can go to my armor. Which is not I didn't make it, but I'm gonna wear it. This is the Moleg Ball armor. More like Moleg Ball in. I'm so sorry. That was bad. And even better, the Moleg Ball Rusty armor. It's just amazing. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's not super high definition, but man, I don't care. Yeah, I could. I could I could wreck some havoc with this. Holy crap, we're in Bellathor's General Sword. Alright. Now next we have GG77's Incubated Eggs mod. Now if you're like me and you and you wanted to uh, hatch and raise your own followers, mounts, or unholy abomination, which I will I will tell you what I'm referring to in a in a little bit with the whole unholy abomination thing, but what I'm doing I here. Some may call this junk. Me is I call them I'm looking for some eggs. Now you can find these eggs in the stores if you have it loaded last in your um, load order list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look for some eggs. And don't fret if we can't find any because I am magic. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the eggs in that one store that I looked at. So what you would do if you found an egg is you would just bring it to the Blacksmith Forge and go down. You won't have all these menus. These are just all my menus. You just go down and go down. Here's the armors you'd make. And here are incubated eggs. Now, when you first find an egg, it won't be incubated. As you can see down here, it requires an albino spider egg. I don't know if that's a typo, but hey, add an S to things. We got plenty of things here. See what we got. Let's go through and just uh, let's just see what he's got. We got albino spiders, bicolored chickens, black dragons, blood chorus, hunter, the blue butterfly, the bone fire dragon, the fire dragon, the frost dragon, the boss dragon, the chagohod egg, uh, I'm down for that, the chorus egg, regular chorus, we got the chorus hunter, crab egg, regular crab, 
Death Dragon Egg. That sounds badass. Dwarf Crab Egg. Dwarf Iba Egg. Dwarf Spider Egg. Dwarf Worm Egg. Eggman Egg. Fire Spider Egg. Flaming Chicken Egg. Flying Chorus Egg. Forest Spider Egg. Frost Spider. Frozen Chorus. Gold Dragon. Goose. Horned Dragon. Ice Lake Dragon. Lich Dragon. Mud Crab. Netch. Oil Spider. Old Dragon. Pebbled Chorus Hunter. That sounds awesome. Poison Spider Egg. Purple Dragon Egg. And the Raptor Eggs, of course. Red Dragon Egg. Reptile Chorus Hunter. Roach Egg. Scrib Egg. Shock Spider Egg. Shock Dragon Egg. Skeletal Dragon Egg. Snow Dragon Egg. Spectral Dragon Egg. Swamp Dragon Egg. Tyrant Dragon Egg. That sounds awesome. Incubated White Dragon Egg. No, that's not a dragon. That's not a dragon. White Chicken Egg. White Spider Egg. Wingless Dragon Egg. Which sounds really cool. Zombie Spider Egg. And then we have armors. We have some armors. The ones in white are the ones that are in the previous mod because they require nothing. I don't have really anything on this character. But yeah, that's all of the options. Now I'm only gonna show you actually how I'm only gonna show you how it works and a couple of them just because that's a lot. It's a lot. And uh that would be that would take some time. So I'm pretty much just gonna show you how it works. What you do is you would go find an egg anywhere like in a shop I'm not sure if you can find them any other way but go find an egg and then what you do is it's in the scrolls menu you would go to the forge and incubate that egg and then you would get incubated eggs and these are incubated egg scrolls but they're not really scrolls it's just how he did it so what you do is you just cast them yeah I got a little mud crab army Mud crabs attack everybody! Oh my god, they are! Oh! I didn't mean it! Sir! Sir! I didn't mean it. I swear. But, um, as our little mud crab army is gallivanting around and ripping the guards to shreds, let's take a look at the raptor, which is a mount actually. So let's just throw it right there. Rawr! Now I'm gonna get it. I could get on him. But I won't, because I have convenient horses and it'll load for the first time you get on a mount, or whatever. Oh no! What the? You know what you get? You don't kill my raptor. You don't kill my raptor. That's what you get. Alright, well, if he were alive, I would be able to get on him. And it does actually work with um, immersive horses. You can uh, use the inventory and everything, mount and talk, all that. It's really cool. Next, we have the incubated Lich Dragon. Now, I thought this one was cool because it's not, as far as I know, in the game. I don't know where it is. It might be in my hand still. Oh, it's in my... Okay, it's in that hand. Okay. Um... I seem to have lost it. Never mind. Found it. Where'd it go? Oh, hey, let's see you. Oh my god! What is that abomination? Is this like a dragon priest in dragon form? Oh my. No. No. Okay, that's not the abomination I was talking about, but it's pretty damn close. Now let's show you the abomination, which, which is the uh, flying chorus. Oh man, that thing's terrifying. Alright. No, nope, that's not how you throw an egg. Yeah. This thing... If you don't like choruses... Man, okay. If you don't like choruses... You will not like this. Look at that! 
Look at that. Oh my god. I, I just have no words. Where is it? Where? I have no words right now. As you can see, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, and it'll probably kill you. But, that seems to be all for this video. Be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, or... I don't really care.